guys welcome back to your favorite channel Lilith Kazan if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so don't forget to like and comment on this tutorial video and let me know what you think don't forget to ring the bell for notifications today we're gonna talk about sled everyone's favorite do you know what that is have you ever used it well let me help you let's get started there are many types of sled that exist. This is a very common one with separate handles on each side. You can pick them up and move them around. As you push them, there is a handle in the middle that you can load the plates on. Sled is used for high intensity workouts. It requires simultaneous activation of many muscles such as glutes, quads, hips, core, hamstrings, calves, even triceps and shoulders. If the weight is low, it's used for conditioning and speed work. If the weight is maxed out, it can be used for muscle building training, sport specific training like football or heavy speed work to shock your nervous system for power and strength reasons. Sleds will test your mind. Here I'm going to show you in the video how you can pick up the handles one at a time to move around when you need to push in the opposite direction and then keep your arms straight. If you don't have any elbow injury or shoulder injury, push off with the ball of your foot. You don't want to drop your heel down. You will stretch out your Achilles tendon or you can pick up the handles, both of them at the same time and push it the opposite direction. You can load the plate right in the middle. Watch out for your fingers. Don't jam them. Now remember, every sled is different. With this specific one, you don't want to keep your arms all the way to the top. It will flip the sled. You do want to be a little bit lower, keep your back neutral, lean forward, look in front of you, keep your arms straight only if you don't have elbow pains or shoulder pains and just push as fast as you can with a lower weight. When you get to the end of the turf, pick up the handles. You can pick them up at the same time, lock them in in their holes, and then you're ready to push it back in the opposite direction. Remember, with the lower weight, you do want to go as fast as you can to perform high-intensity workout. You don't want to grab the handles at the very top. You see how the slot is flipping. You want to grab it a little bit lower. The lower actually is better. If you don't have elbow or shoulder pains, keep your arms straight. As the weight gets heavy, you may bend your elbows. Now I'm going to show you a different exercise that you can do with the sled. Never grab it from the top. It will flip. Grab it lower. The lower the better. Keep your back neutral and take one step at a time backwards. You do want to keep your arms straight. If you bend them, the sled will be too close to you. And then you can push it back on the way back. Keep your arms straight. Lean forward. Make sure you're breathing when you push the sled. This way will activate your quads more. There is another way to use the sled with TRX band. Make sure it clips tightly so it doesn't come off when you push the weight. We don't want you to get injured. Just double check it for security reasons. Now you can make the TRX band shorter or longer. Just remember when you make it longer, the distance of pulling will be shortened because the turf is only one size. And if you make it shorter, the slat, this specific one can start flipping. So find that golden balance. Don't make it too short. Don't make it too long. There are a few ways to pull the slat with TRX band. You can face the slat you can squat down neutral back take one step at a time backwards keep your arms straight the whole time please don't bend them and right at the end wrap the trx band around so it's not on the floor so you don't step on it you don't fall and then just to push slat back because you can't really flip the slat and click the trx on the other side too much waste of time or you can face forward lean forward remember ball of your feet never stretch your achilles tendon lean forward breathe take one step at a time if it's heavy you'll be slower if it's a uh, lighter weight go faster Another great way to use a slat is with a rope if you have one or if your gym has one, it'll be great. Tighten up in a few knots to make sure it's secured and it's not going to come loose when you pull the slat. You can also put a plate on top of the rope for security reason or if you want to add on weights if you feel like the weight is too light for you. 
and then just go ahead and straighten the rope on the turf all the way and you're going to be sitting at the end of the rope you may keep your legs straight or bent it's totally your comfort level the rope will um, start folding on one side make sure it just falls on one side lean forward left arm over the right one and then right one over the left one make sure you don't lean back too much just naturally the slat will twist and that's okay will never be straightened up perfectly that's all right don't worry about it just pull all the way to you and when it's pulled all the way, you're going to stand up, make sure the rope is in between your feet, and you're going to push the slat back with your straight arms. Again, if you have some type of elbow or shoulder pain, or the weight is too heavy for you to handle, you may bend your elbows. I'm going to show you some breathing technique. When you pull, you breathe out. You inhale when you lean forward and grab the rope, and then when you pull back, you exhale. Make sure you don't lean back too much, just naturally. When you push the slat, again, keep your arms straight only if you don't have elbow and shoulder pain and the weight is easy. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video, my dear friends. Your support means the world to me. Please don't forget to leave the comments and let me know what you think about this tutorial video and what other exercises you'd like to learn about. I'm here to help you. I love you all. Have a great week ahead of you. Until the next time.